Okay, we're given a revenue function and a cost function, and we want to find the marginal revenue, marginal cost, the profit function, and the marginal profit function. And then after we do all those different steps, we're going to try to maximize our profit. All right, so when you see marginal revenue or marginal cost, marginal, just remember that means the same thing as our derivative. So what we want to do is go ahead and take the derivative of the revenue function to get the marginal revenue function. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the power rule, right? We have negative three times our exponent is going to be negative six. Reduce the exponent by one, so I get q to the first power there. Plus we have a linear term. So a linear term, the derivative is just going to be that number out in front. All right, so that's our marginal revenue. Next up, our marginal cost, very similar. We're going to reuse our power rule. So exponent comes down, gets multiplied by the five. So we get 10 q to the first power as we reduce the exponent by one. The linear term is going to just be that number in front, the coefficient. And then at the end, we have that 300. The derivative of a constant is always going to be zero. All right, so we now have marginal revenue and marginal cost. Next, let's set up our profit function. So our profit function is always going to be given by the revenue minus the cost. Because revenue is like all the money you bring in, and then you want to subtract away any of the costs. Okay, so our revenue function, negative 3q squared plus 800q minus, and here's where everyone makes their little mistakes, you want to subtract away the entire cost function. So I'm going to subtract away 5q squared minus 200q plus 300. Now let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit before we actually take its derivative to get the marginal profit. So cleaning it up, what I mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative to each one of these terms that are inside my parentheses. So negative 5q squared plus 200q minus 300. Combine a few like terms and we're going to get negative 8q squared right, because we had q squared terms. We have q terms, q to the first terms. As we combine those together, we're going to get positive 1,000q. And then our constant can come along minus 300. So that's our profit function. But the marginal profit is going to be take the derivative of the profit function. Okay, so our profit function, again, just reusing that power rule a few times. Uh, negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. q to the first power plus the linear term, we're going to have 1,000 is going to be our uh, derivative, it's the number out in front, the coefficient, plus zero for the constant term. Now in order to maximize our profit, the goal on this um, to maximize our profit is going to be figure out when does the marginal profit equal zero. All right, that's going to be when we have a horizontal tangent line. So let's set that marginal profit, negative 16q, plus 1,000 equal to zero and work on solving down for Q. So a linear equation shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1,000, move it to the other side, and divide both sides by negative 16. So 1,000 divided by 16 or negative over a negative makes a positive. We want our quantity to be 26, 62.5. All right, um, and then if we want to know exactly what the maximum profit was going to be, we would take that back over and plug it in. We would plug into our profit function and say P of 62.5. Um, replace each one of these Qs down here with that and figure out what our maximum profit could be. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on marginal revenue, marginal cost, and marginal profit.